The next topic that we're going to discuss is the IT environment. This is another important aspect that you need to understand as an IT auditor. The IT environment is made up of four main parts or components as I'll call them. Applications, databases, servers, and the network. And now I'm going to talk about each one. The first component of the IT environment that I'm going to talk about are the applications. What is an application? A system application is a program that's designed to carry out a specific task. So for organizations, this can include payment processing, financial bookkeeping, or other time reporting. And some application examples include SAP, Oracle Financials, PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, or maybe a point of sale system for a company like Walmart or any retail store. Now let's think about this from an IT audit perspective. From an IT audit perspective, it's important to understand what the application does and how the controls are designed in order to design the appropriate testing procedures. You need to know the function of an application before you are able to determine how to best audit that system. So again, it's important for you to understand what an application does in order for you to be able to test it effectively. The next component of the IT environment that we're going to discuss are the databases. And what is a database? A database is an organized collection of data that is stored. So data that's entered in an application is stored in a database. The data that's being presented in an application on the front end is actually being pulled from the connected database tables. So let me explain this a little bit more. When you're entering information on any website or any application at work or on your computer or your phone, the data that you're entering is not being stored in the application. The application is just running the task and letting you see what it can do. The data that you're saving is actually being stored in the backend, which is in the database. And this data is being stored in the database tables again, that's in the backend. And it's from that database that data is being pulled anytime you want to run a report. So anytime you want to run a report from a system or anytime you want to pull up information from an app on your phone or on your computer, it's actually pulling that data from the database that's storing it on the back end. And here are some examples of databases. You have Oracle, SQL, MySQL, and there might be others out there like DB2. But the main point I want to show here is that from an IT perspective or an IT audit perspective, it's important to also understand how these databases are connected to the applications and how access to the database is restricted. And this is important for you because you want to know how you will test the databases as well. So when you understand how the databases are connected to the applications and how security around the database is set up, then you're able to better test as an IT auditor. So you need to understand that you have the applications, which is the front end um, where the tasks are being carried out. And then you have the databases on the back end where you have the data being stored. The next component of the IT environment I'm going to cover are the servers. And what is a server? A server is also a computer system that provides resources, services, data, or program to other computers. Okay. Applications and database programs that we just talked about are installed on servers for them to function. And the servers can be either bare metal, which is just the physical hardware there, or in the cloud. So it can be the physical ones where you can see or the cloud, which is virtual. So it's also important to note that in some cases, the application and database may be hosted on the same server. And in other cases, they may be on different servers, which means the application server is different from the database server. And we have some examples here. You have Windows servers, Unix servers, or mainframe servers. And as IT auditors, you might see any of these in the field. From an IT audit perspective, the servers that host the applications and the databases also need to be identified in order to design appropriate testing procedures. So for you to be able to test comprehensively, you need to understand not just the applications and the databases, you also need to understand the servers that host them, okay? And the last component that we're going to talk about today is the network. And let's define a network. 
A network is made up of two or more computers that are linked together and they can share resources. So all the applications, databases, and servers that we've been talking about are typically connected and they're part of the network. And then the network is also typically protected by firewalls that surround it to protect that environment. And some of the examples of what you have in the network include the firewalls, routers, and any other devices that have been installed to form that computer network. So from an IT audit perspective again, it is also important to understand how that network is configured, how it's set up and protected in order to design appropriate testing procedures. For example, it might be necessary to know where the firewalls are sitting so that you know at what point um, the controls in the organization take effect and what point the controls that are more external take effect. So it's important to understand how things are configured, okay? So now that we've talked through each of the components, let me summarize and bring everything together. When you are performing an IT audit, you typically have to perform a test of the environment that's in scope, the IT environment that is. So unless the scope is limited to just certain components, you need to consider all the other components as part of your audit. Let me give a couple of examples. In an operational audit that is limited in scope, testing might be limited to just applications that perform a certain business process. However, another example is for SOX, Sabin's Oxley. You will need to consider the in-scope applications as well as the linked databases, servers, and the network when you're performing your testing because you're looking at the overall IT environment. So it's very important for you to identify the various components of the computing system when you're determining the scope of an audit because that's what's going to help you determine how you test or perform the control testing procedures, okay? And that brings us to the end of this topic.